SCP-5408. Customer dissatisfaction guaranteed. Object class neutralized. Special containment procedures. Oceanic Task Force Delta-14 will maintain a 2 square kilometer exclusion zone around the island that previously contained SCP-5408 under the guise of radiation contamination testing. Fragments of SCP-5408-A material are held within secure radioactive container 5 at Site-104. All information regarding the Majorina event and the Vila incident the Vila incident is the civilian designation for the flashes caused by SCP-5408's neutralization, is to be falsified and the events attributed to South African Israeli nuclear testing. Description SCP-5408 was a semi-organic entity of unknown origins that resembled a late 20th century lighthouse located on a small island in the Indian Ocean. The exact structure that allowed SCP-5408 to sustain life are unknown, Sample analysis indicates it was composed of silicon, iron, organic tissue. DNA slash RNA analysis revealed the presence of 19 previously undiscovered nucleotide groups, nickel, and strontium-90. Though composed of large quantities of strontium-90, SCP-5408 showed no signs of radioactivity on external sensors prior to the Mejrima event. Four rectangular orifices were located along its vertical shaft that expelled an ammonium nitrate compound every 14 hours. This process was theorized to be a byproduct of a respiratory system. SCP-5408 was capable of broadcasting a long-range radio transmission that originated from a large crystal housed at the summit, designated SCP-5408-A. SCP-5408-A was composed of a previously unknown organic crystalloid compound capable of long-range communication. The transmissions broadcast from SCP-5408-A were a quadratic code system intermittent with theta waves. When decrypted, the language used a modern dialect of Kiswali, also known as Swahili. The housing surrounding SCP-5408-A was impenetrable making pre-neutralization testing impossible. Discovery On December 21st, 1978, Foundation satellite OU-556 detected a large spike in theta particles located on an island near Prince Edward Islands in the Indian Ocean. A Foundation exploratory team discovered SCP-5408, where no previous lighthouse was observed. Upon further investigation, the anomalous nature of SCP-5408 was discovered, and provisional site Q-33 was constructed near the anomaly. Two weeks after the discovery of SCP-5408, the first SCP-5408-A broadcast was intercepted. A Foundation decryption team spent four weeks deciphering the transmission into Kiswali and then English. The translation was as follows. Epoch, special one time only. Biological inhabitants, 9.1 million variants. Many ingredients, very moist. Microwave delight prepared by none other than untranslatable. Oxygen allergy beware. Only 13.6 E18, untranslatable, by now. Location upon reservation, meal upon arrival. SCP-5408-A broadcasted this transmission every two weeks until September 12, 1979, at which time the Mejamira event initiated. Mejamira event. On September 12, 1979, the SCP 5408A broadcast changed composition. The updated translation was as follows Many thanks, purchase confirmed. Reservation accepted for untranslatable. Preparations begin on untranslatable. On September 22, 1979, SCP-5408 began emitting large amounts of non-ionizing radiation through an unknown process. This radiation was similar to that used in microwave ovens, but at an exponentially greater concentration, increasing by a factor of 50% every 30 minutes. An emergency meeting of the O5 Council was formed, and in a unanimous decision, brute force neutralization was authorized. Five hours after the approval was finalized, a dual-yield thematic bomb known as the R5 Twin Canary was detonated at the summit of SCP-5408. Neutralization of SCP-5408 was successful, 
those several inert fragments of SCP-5408-A remained. The neutralization of SCP-5408 was detected by multiple civilian satellites, most notably the Vela Hotel satellite. Foundation assets within the United States and Soviet governments began a disinformation campaign aligning the event with South African, Israeli nuclear testing. At 9.23 Greenwich Mean Time, on September 23, 1979, an unknown energy phenomenon was detected by Foundation satellite GV4433, located 25,000 kilometers from Earth. The anomaly remained stationary for 36 minutes before dissipating. The exact nature of the anomaly is undetermined and was designated the SCP-5408-W event. On December 16, 1979, the Foundation intercepted a quadratic code system transmission identical to the one used by SCP-5408-A, originated from outside the Sol system. The translation is as follows. Rate, one sun. Large disappointment, want refund. Arrived to raw meal, no service, no untranslatable. Left without eating, do not recommend. Following this transmission, no further SCP-5408 related activity has occurred. Thank you for listening to SCP-5408. If you enjoyed this SCP, please follow the link in the description below to the SCP Wiki and vote to support it and the SCP Wiki as a whole. Also, if you have any SCPs that you'd like for me to do, please leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do.